Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the consumption. Like and share videos today is Friday. What your market? I bring you this update. Self determination is not a crime. Release Kano now. Show test federal government. Now, Omoyole Showore, yes, a human rights activist and uh, one of the presidential candidates. And they just concluded charade con conducted by the dependent electoral umpire in Nigeria. Yes, Omoyole Showore was talking about the lawless DSS that they denied him access to see Mazinam Kano. Showore said Kano, Mazinam Kano invited him to DSS hell to come and see him over there. But the lawless DSS refused him access. They denied him access to go and see Mazinam Kano. After allowing him to wait endlessly, they, they, they now came out and said, look, you will not be able to see him more. Go home. After waiting, he said, this is Rigmarol. Charid, Abracatabra. That's DSS. After they are Abracatabra, they are Rigmaroling. They said, you will not see him. Go home. All right. Said, Shuole called on Tinubu to release Mazinam Kano. Now and unconditionally. Say, obey court order. Obey court judgment. Self-determination is not a crime. That's what Shore is saying. So Shore is saying, free Nam the Kano now. I spent several hours at the official DSS NG headquarters in Abuja. I was invited by Onyendu Mazinam the Kano to pay him a visit in custody. However, after hours of rigma role, the DSS told me, I can't see him today. This is the second time I am being denied lawfully ordered visitation to Mazi since his illegal abduction from Kenya. That was the statement released by Omoyole Showare, saying, DSS lawless. Yes, they abducted Mazi Namukano, clamped in the detention facility, refused people to visit him. That is illegality, begotten illegality. Yeah, abduction. Torture. Okay, you denied him access to medical uh, experts only recently. That they said he can visit a doctor. You denied him access to his prayers, prayer books, and reading materials, everything. And uh, you denied him visitors. Lawful people, those who have been cleared to visit him. Yes, and uh, because you are hiding something. The DSS is hiding something. You know, that place is hell. That place is uninhabitable. Human beings cannot stay there. And that is why they're keeping Mazin on the Kano. They don't want Shawara to, 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 to go there to say things so that he will not come out and tell the world what he's saying there. That's what they're hiding. They know what they are committing. The offense they're committing is grievous. The SS know what they're doing. They know that what they are doing is crime against humanity. So they don't want anybody to go there to see what is happening there, particularly those people like uh, Shogure, of course, uh, he's a human rights activist. They know that he will not mind words. When, once he comes out, he will say it the way it is. Yes. So DSS, if you're not hiding anything, if you're not hiding anything under your sleeve, why won't you allow people to see him as an American, particularly Shogure? That has been cleared to see him. After your abracatabra, your rigmarole, your the more you look, less you see attitude. You now said you can't see him. You can't see him. Why? Mazin Namdekan extended invitation to show where, like he said, said he did not go there on his own accord. He was invited by Mazin Namdekan. And they says allowed him to wait. After waiting and waiting, they said hey, you can you can see him go, because they have checked all the evil they have committed. Of course, we have said it. The legal team have they said they will write application to the authorities for a magistrate to be going there on a weekly basis, if possible, to be investigating and inspecting that DSS hell where Mazinamakan has been kept.
because that place is no longer habitable. It's not safe for human beings to stay. That is why, what they're hiding. They don't want to show whether to go there. So they will not come out and tell the public what they have seen. But being that as it may, we have known what is happening. The legal team have exposed it. Said it's not habitable. Yes, that place is uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. That's people cannot stay, human beings cannot stay there. It's not fit for habitat, for human habitat. And you 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 you, you, you allow Mazamka to stay there so that he will continue to you know be infected by diseases. Yes. So what government of Nigeria is doing amounts to you know to a crime against humanity in all aspects. That is what they are doing. And that's why they are afraid. They have skeletons in their cupboard. Tinubu has no reason to keep Mazinam Kano in DSS hell. If not, that himself and the header are the same, like she already have stated. She already said they are the same. The header and the Miloko, no difference. There's no distinction whatsoever. They are best of a feeder. That's where they flock and congregate together. Yes. So for people who are still thinking, oh, what Nigeria? Okay? You are having a reverie. There's nothing like that. After eight years of horror from the header, you have entered another one chance. As a Nigerian, it's one chance. Look at their policies so far. Anti-people, anti-masses. The rich getting richer. The poor getting poorer. No policy that is people friendly. It's just to make sure that the rich are moving forward. And making the gulf or the cleavage between the poor and the rich to widen and widen and widen. If you go to climbs where things are, uh, are happening, economies are good. They are trying to close the gap between the rich and the poor by the day. Here, they are widening it. That's why coups are happening, counter coups are happening. Yes, in Africa, because of government and refuse to obey laws, the laws they made for themselves, the law they made for the country. What is democracy? What is governance? If not that the people have submitted their own authority as human beings under the law, not under any human being. Their rights and their authority they have submitted under the law so that the law will govern them. Not an individual will govern them, but a human being will not implement the law. That's what you are there doing, not to rule people. They are fiat. You are not an emperor. You are there to govern the people with their law they have made. That is governance. You are not a dictator to go there and dictate to them. You are to govern them by the laws they have made for themselves. We have underscored the 40 or the of the constitution of Nigeria, 1999 constitution. It's fraud in the first instance. It's fraudulent, that document. But we said, obey it then. That fraud, obey it. They will not obey it. They did it to favor themselves. But if they see anywhere where their whims and caprices will not be accommodated, they will flagrantly violate it. And that is what Tinubu is doing. Throwing that part of lawlessness of Buhari. That's what she would say in essence.